But it is now Monday morning, had a nice breakfast. We're all packed up and we are ready to leave Sunset Camp. Well, what an amazing place this was. Absolutely awesome. But now we're heading to the dollhouse. This is gonna be probably the most difficult section of the whole maze area that we're doing this week and a little challenging with the trailer, but I think everything is gonna work out okay. We watched a few videos of people taking other trailers in there, so I think we're in good shape to go, especially with the Tribe Trailer Overland Base Camp. It can go almost anywhere. So we're gonna have a good time. We're ready to go. Let's go hit the trail. Well, once we left Sunset Camp, we have 10 miles to go to get to Flint Trail. Now Flint Trail is gonna be the main road that we use to get to the Dollhouse, Panorama Point, and Mays Overlook. They're all off of Flint Trail. And then when we're done, we take Flint Trail up to Green River and get gas and head home. So we say goodbye to the camp and we head towards Flint Trail. And as we're coming up on the end of Poison Springs and heading up towards Flint Trail, you'll see these huge signs that say no OHVs beyond this point. So OHVs are allowed on Poison Springs, but not on Flint Trail and not on any of the roads to the campsites. Well, we just came out of Poison Springs, which is over here. This road that we're on here is Flint something Flint Road Flint Road I think yeah and then the road in front of us there is how we get to Dollhouse so that's where we're up next 20 miles down this trail and we'll be at Dollhouse can't wait because this is supposed to be the hardest part of the maze let's go check it out first few miles of the trail are this kind of deep sandy surface. This is actually a real joy to drive on. It makes things go really quick. However, according to Trails Off-Road, things are only going to get rougher from here. Yeah, this is called uh, a couple small ledges here, and we're gonna work our way down. Coming down here on the ground, I can feel that. Okay, that was kind of steep. We'll get the trailer down. And then we'll move on to the next set of ledges here. We're now entering a section called Teapot Rock. There's a campsite here, but more importantly, Trails Off-Road says we're entering 
the most difficult section of the trail. And considering we've already hit the first few obstacles, it looks like we're in for some challenges. tricky shelves here. I mean, they wouldn't be tricky by ourselves. It's just with the trailer, that definitely adds a different dimension to it. You know, it makes us longer. I gotta worry about not only the angle of the Jeep, but I gotta keep an eye on the angle of the trailer. Well, so far, things have been a little more difficult than we had anticipated. And there's no doubt this is why the Park Service does not recommend you bring trailers through here. Now we did catch one video of someone pulling a trailer through Dollhouse and they made it through according to the video, but there is one really tricky turn up ahead that has us a bit concerned. So hopefully we can get through it without too much trouble but that one is at the top of my mind right now. Got to inch it around, back and forth. Yeah. Now this is that turn that I mentioned a while back. Now, if we didn't have the trailer, this would be no big deal making this turn. But we just are too long. I have been working this back and forth for a few minutes already, and I'm still not out of it. I'm gonna have to try and climb up at a really bad uh, off-camber angle really difficult to turn the steering wheel at that point and see if I can pull this thing up on to the rest of the trail but this one did prove to be a little difficult You may be wondering why I'm struggling on this. Just give it some gas and drive up it. Well, I have no traction. The steering wheel doesn't want to move properly. And the, I'm just spinning tires because I got a lot of weight on the vehicle and the trailer is at an angle. But once I got it lined up and got going, we were able to get out of it. Well, Phil's just going to show us how it's done without a trailer. He should be able to make this without even doing a three-point turn. He might get a little high on the driver's side coming out, but he's not going to have any problems at all just making this all in one shot. Driver. Keep that line. 
Since the Maze District is rather popular and all the trails are out and back, don't be surprised if you see some people coming back out from the campsites that you're heading into. So keep your eyes open and make sure well you have a safe spot to pull off if you see people coming. As I mentioned, we had watched a lot of videos to prepare for this trip, and especially the one where someone brought a trailer, and he only showed that one turn as being the only difficult obstacle on the trail. And it's turning out, it's not <laughs> the worst obstacle. We've had this really big decline right here. We've got some ledges that we've been over. That was really nothing compared to some of the things that we've seen on this trail. And now we have a big, like three foot ledge here that we have to contend with. And I'm kind of certain I might do some scraping on the trailer as we go over it. Now, as you can see, as the back end comes up, it actually pulls the hitch up out of the way and out of the danger zone. However, as we go down the next ledge, you might even see a puff of dust come out. That's where the hitch hit the ground and we actually sheared all of the electrical wires going to the trailer. As you may have noticed, some of the trail is right smack on the edge of some cliffs. So, for anyone who doesn't like shelf roads, fair warning, because there are some here on the dollhouse. These obstacles have been coming at us non-stop. Fortunately, there's a great place to stop, take a break, catch your breath, take in some beautiful scenery. But we got a long ways to go. Can't spend too much time before we have to get back on the trail.
Okay, you're down. Yeah, baby! To say this spot was not designed for a trailer is an understatement. You have to come in, get through these rocks right here, and maneuver your way through, and there just isn't enough room for the trailer, and you can see one of the wheels got up on one of the rocks. But we made it, and we're still working our way through the trail. That has definitely been a whole lot of challenges getting through the dollhouse here. The Tribe trailer's been doing great, the Jeep's been running great, and we've just been having a great time. And everyone we've seen has been really cool and friendly, and all thought we were absolutely insane for taking a trailer through here. So, <laughs> so far so good. And uh, I think the worst of it is now uh, just about over, and the last handful of miles to the dollhouse is supposed to be pretty smooth. A towing a trailer off-road can be a challenge. If you're not used to towing anything, you really have to be careful about your angles. Now, as you can see here, as the front of the Jeep comes up, that hitch drops down. If the back of the Jeep goes up, the tongue goes up and you've got lots of clearance, but now you've lost departure angle on the back. Now here, we're gonna see this in real close action here because as we come down on the end of this cliff and the Jeep straightens out, you'll see just how close that tongue can come to the road. And as I mentioned before, we actually have sheared all of the electrical wires to the trailer at this point because of a situation exactly like this. These obstacles have certainly come at us hard and fast, almost from the beginning of this trail. It has been a wild, wild ride. Now, at least for the time being, according to Trails Off-Road, things are smooth, we've got a nice sandy surface to drive on, and we're making up some lost time, and hopefully the worst is behind us. But I don't want to jinx it too soon. Uh, once you enter this Red Rocks area, things are quite a bit different. There's some interesting places to stop, take a little rest, or go for a hike. With names like Chocolate Drop, Lizard Rock, The Plug, Standing Rock, and Chimney Rock. And some of those have campgrounds, some of them don't, but look it up if you're looking for an alternate place to stay. But right now, we are just enjoying this scenery and just loving every minute of it. And we have the dollhouse 
inside up ahead. So hopefully we're going to be there fairly soon. Now this drop off here is pretty steep. So what I'm going to do is have her go right down the center so that it leaves room for the hitch to drop down into this V-notch. And I think everything's going to be okay. Well, as they say, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And I had the best of intentions right in getting her through this. But one of the trailer tires has dropped into the V-notch and is wedged super tight. So now we've got a problem on our hands. Well, I definitely managed to get Katarina fairly stuck here. We can't pull forward. It's just, it's totally wedged in there and will probably damage the rim. Okay, yeah. We can't go backwards. It just doesn't want to go anywhere. And we risk doing some additional damage. So we have Phil pull his Jeep up right next to it. We're going to hook up the winch and try and lift it up to give it, get it out of this little uh, V notch here and see if that'll be enough for us to drive it out. So let's see if we can get ourselves out of this predicament here. Well, this plan is not working. Remember, this is almost a 2,000 pound trailer and all it's doing is pulling the front of Phil's Jeep down and it's not lifting the trailer up. So, time to start working on another plan. We're now on to plan C, and that's gonna be to try and jack it up a little bit and then get a couple rocks under the tire and then have Phil winch it backwards, the whole thing, the Jeep and the trailer, to try and get us in a better position. So we're gonna get it up as high as we can with the jack and uh, let's hope for the best. Sometimes, third time's a charm. While we were able to get the trailer back a few feet, it just wasn't enough to get out of this notch. And there was no way to get Phil in another position to get it back even further and out of this. So our next plan is gonna to be to try and drive forward again, try and get it to climb out. And if not, we're gonna be on plan E or F at some point here. Eventually, we'll figure it out. Uh, at this point, I've certainly run out of which plan we're on, but hopefully we're at the end. We jacked it up a little bit. We're throwing rocks underneath the tire. We're going to just stack it up and then see if we can drive it out. So hopefully this will be the uh, thing that gets us out of this predicament. Go ahead. Well, we're off the hitch. Stop. That's good. That's good. One more. Might fix your caster. It might. Yeah. Now go ahead and straighten out now. Yep. Straighten out. Right there. And it's just sliding it out. You're you only got another another foot to go before you're uh, before the wheels out. Driver, 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 driver. Beautiful. Okay, slow. Take it slow. Because now the other wheel. Yeah, I'm gonna drop right. Well, it's good. Beautiful. Okay, go forward. You're good. You're good, trailer's coming down. You're out. 
Beautiful. Always trust your spotter. Except this time it was me and I screwed up. So things happen, right? But one reason why you don't wheel alone is resources, extra eyes, extra hands, extra tools, everything. Extra brains. Uh, extra brains. <laughs> and uh, a lot of rock moving sometimes. But we got her done. We got the trailer unstuck. Now we just got to load uh, the other Jeep back up with the water we took out. And we're only like three quarters of a mile from the campsite. Let's get going. Let's wrap up and let's get to camp. Trail, Trail travel, travel recovery. recovery. <laughs> So Phil's going to take the hardest line here. I remember he's on 40s, and you can see just how big of a drop this is. But the old Philster, making it look easy. We are coming into the dollhouse area. There's actually three campsites here, and we're in dollhouse number two. Now, uh, this is the most unique campsite I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely mind blowing. And now we're done for the day. Time to get unpacked, get some food, do some repairs, and get ready for tomorrow's adventure as we hit May's Overlook. <laughs>